Hi there. How are you today? God bless you. Hope everything is doing okay. I know it's going to be challenging. Life is challenging. Yeah. I pray the grace of God will continue to keep us in all our trials, challenges, and the Lord will give us victory. Amen. Let's continue to watch, pray, and hold on to our Lord Jesus Christ. Be strong in the Lord. Amen. Thanks for watching. Today, by God's grace and by the help of the Holy Spirit, our third lesson is going to be titled, Can I, as a single lady, do IVF? Amen. In vitral fertilization. Can a single lady do in vitro fertilization? Praise the Lord. Let's look at the scripture and uh, let's rub mine together and see why would a single lady want to have a baby? Amen. Why would you, as a single Christian lady, want to have a, a child before marriage. Praise the Lord. I know there's so many challenges, so many pressure out there, especially in these end times. We have a lot of single ladies and men too uh, having a lot of disappointments in marriages, delaying marriages, and we see uh, many marrying late in, in their 30s, in their 40s, and you know, this is, yeah, it's bad, it's not good enough, especially for the woman who, she was so rich in menopause and there's a lot of fear, agitation, like, uh, will I be able to get somebody to marry on time? Yes, there's a lot of fear out there, anxiety. If suppose it, I don't find somebody to get married to on time, am I going to be alone? You know, loneliness. And uh, we think a lot about all this. And it's okay as children of God, we are human, we are social beings. And especially if God wills that you get married, you have that desire, it's wonderful. However, my brothers and my sisters in Christ, the Bible says, do not be anxious about anything, but in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will keep your mind and um, soul in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We don't need to be anxious about these things. Let's just trust in the Lord. Is is God our back? Continue to pray and serve Him. We need to serve the Lord more, seeking Him first. Amen. So today, by God's grace, we are looking at it. Can a single ladies do have here? Before we start the a lesson. I want to make a disclaimer. This a video is for Christians, children of God, born again, um, serving the Lord, who loves to grow in their relationship and looking forward to see Jesus Christ one day when he comes for us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's read from 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 22 flee also youthful lust but pursue righteousness faith love peace with those who call on the lord out of a pure heart amen this scripture is saying flee flee also youthful lust this thought of having a child outside mar uh, um, outside marriage or before marriage 
It's a lustful thought, and the Bible says flee, not run, as in flee. It's about your destiny, about your eternity. Flee, it's a lust. Say, the Bible says pursue righteousness. So we need to begin to pursue righteousness and faith and love, love for God and love for our neighbors. Peace with those, with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Yes, we need godly people around us to encourage us because I know there are so many ungodly people who just want to fulfill their lustful desires just because they are trying to save their uh, themselves from shame. S to be single at 30, 35 is not shameful. Even 40, as long as you are walking in the will of God for your life. Praise the Lord. When God has called you into singleness for a certain period, be patient. Wait. Praise the Lord. Now, if you said, okay, I need to get a baby. Um, oh, do you want to sleep around? Oh, I'm a Christian. I don't want to sleep around. Okay, so where are you going to get a baby? No one buys sperm on the market. It's not in the store. Praise God, the doctor cannot even make it. It is only made by God. In a man's body, which is the sperm factory. And the only way a sperm is allowed or can be transferred, infused into the womb of a woman, is through sex. Yes, it's through sex. And more so, it has to be God's authorized sex. And what is that? It's marriage within. It is our sex within marriage, a godly marriage. Yes, that is the only place you can have sex, healthy, godly, holy sex union, which can give you um, your desire to have children. So, my sister, if you say, um, well, I don't have to have um, sex. I just uh, have the doctor do heavy hair. Hmm, a single. That means you are involved in fornication. Yes, not directly with a man. But it means you are going to have a secret donor. Somebody you don't even even know that person. That is... Immorality, yes, spiritual fornication. And um, what who is that man, a godly man that will even give you his sperm? I don't think any man would do that, donate his sperm for a single lady. Come on, let's um, open our eyes. No man. A Christian godly man will donate his sperm for a single lady who is not married. Even if you're married, it's not just um, godly. Hallelujah. That child is going to be an illegitimate child. And you'll be carrying a baby, somebody else's baby, in your tummy. Paraventure, that baby is a demon. The, the sperm... You, your donor is a demon. Yes, you say demon. Oh, the Bible in Genesis 4 talks about sons of God sleeping with daughters of God. Yes, there are still many sons of God that appears to be sons of men out there. Uh huh. And the devil is using them a lot. Go to the spam bank. Do, do, do you think all the sperms are from natural human beings? Huh. We must be deceiving ourselves. Most of them, perhaps they are from the monogram. Yes, just to corrupt human beings. Yes, if, you can, if they can have sex physically with them, they can have it through 
spawn transform and then they will have the demon human hybrid babies and that's why it's even for married having a donor it's it's very risky not to say, talk about single ladies having a donor we need to be careful children of god let's not be uh, carried away with all this um desperation for children desperation and the anxiety of life and because we are so unsuspecting and ignorant we are being ensnared into the trap of the enemy of the devil praise the lord so let's stop lusting we are just lusting about uh, having children it's just the desire of the flesh God has his own plan for you. Just wait and continue to serve the Lord. Let's stop idolizing children as if having them, you'll be fulfilled. No. If you are frustrated as a single lady and you are desperate to have a child by all means, when you eventually have the child, you're going to make that child even to be frustrated. Yes. So you need to calm down, calm down. Seek the Lord, wait upon the Lord. Let him renew your strength. Yes, of course, we are human. We have our desires, but we should submit to God. Yes, humble ourselves before God. He has the plan. And the Lord says in Jeremiah 29, 11, my thought for you is of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. My sister, it's time to begin to seek the kingdom of God more and his righteousness. We have been distracted. Yes, there's so many distractions. Oh, more my friends are married. They have kids. And so, you face your life with God. If they don't want to be friends with you, fine. Just seek the Lord. Look for some godly um, singles too who are in your category and continue to pray together. Serve the Lord together. Let's seek the Lord. Let's seek the Lord more. There are so many things that you, you can get yourself involved with. Godly things. Serving the Lord. Let's look at example in the Bible. Dockers. She was out there helping widows. Yes, as single sisters, you can help widows. Or if you're, if you're 40 and over and you're thinking you, you want to have uh, some kids around you, start an orphanage. Start taking care. Go adopt one or two kids and take care of them. Yes. That will be a service unto the Lord. Adoption is okay. You take them in into your place. You don't have to have a big orphanage before you do ministry. If you take one or two uh, orphans at the same time and you're taking care of them for, for the Lord, God is going to bless you. And in God's time, when God gives you your husband, he too will be proud of you. Yes. If you can't keep them in your house, you go and visit them. Visit often. Take care of them. Uh, teach them the, the scripture. Go out evangelism. We need to like just uh, get busy. Get busy. Be occupied. The Lord is coming soon. Let's not sit down and be thinking about lustful things. About ungodly things. Because of the pressure of of family, of friends, of people around you, of society. No, we don't need to. There's nothing impossible with God. Yes, people are still getting married and having happy, um, happy marriages at 50, at um, 55. Yes, even 60. If God says he has a purpose on your life, you just wait. But why you wait? Why don't you serve the Lord fervently? Go out for evangelism. Start having 
children Bible study, Bible clubs in your, in your place or go to the orphanages and be helping them. Get busy for the Lord, my sister and brothers in Christ, singles. Get busy. Seek the Lord fervently more in prayer, in studying the word and in serving the, the, the needy, the widow. Ruth, Ruth thought she was done with marriage, but she chose to help her mother-in-law. I'm sure if it's for you, you're like, no, I want to get married. I want to have children. See, that's a challenge to us singles. Ruth dedicated her life to God and to serving and helping her mother-in-law. And she was, uh, okay, she was content with being single for the rest of her life. Because even the woman told her, go back. Go and find a, a husband. But she's, she was so loving, committed. What a wonderful uh, testimony. And she was like, no, I'm going to take care of you. If you're my mother, I will do the same. Oh, that, that was so sweet and kind of her. And she was like, I'm going with you. How God, God really was touched by her commitment, her faithfulness, her, her loyalty, and um, uh, blessed her. And also adopted her into the genealogy of the Lord Jesus Christ. Singles, let's get serious with God. This is not time to learn about yourself, your desire. You want to get married. You want to have children. You want to have houses. You want to have this. Let's stop that. The devil is a sneering us. If you if we get ourselves involved in all those um, idle um, thoughts and um, practices, hmm, Jesus is coming very soon. Jesus is coming very soon. So my sisters, let's not think about it. Don't think about it. Knock it off. Okay, can I be a surrogate for somebody? Oh, he's my aunt. He's my sister. I love her so dearly. She can carry a baby. And no, don't do it. You can't be a surrogate for anybody. No. Your womb is, a, is, is especially for you and for your children. If God gives you your own uh, children, God... Glory be to God. And if not, you are dedicating your womb, your body is the temple of God to serve the Lord in, in righteousness, in holiness, and to pray, to labor in prayer for other children you're taking care of spiritually. Child bearing spiritually, discipling children for, for the Lord is even much more fulfilling than just having your physical children. Paul, he didn't, he, he didn't marry. He lived a fulfilled life, laboring in prayer, bringing forth children, spiritual children in the Lord. There's a great, greater reward for that in heaven than just having your physical children and not even having a plan for them outside marriage. And for that matter, please, let's not think about it. I pray the grace of God will be sufficient for us in Jesus' name. Paraventure, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, please. Repent of your sins. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that he died for your sins. That God raised him from the dead and you'll be saved. Then be baptized and begin to follow Jesus Christ daily in obedience. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. God bless you.